we're going to briefly look at just a couple of points on these analysis questions. First, if you've already filled out the tables, then you're done with steps one and two. Moving on to the analysis questions, you have to answer all of these for your homework. That's going to include some of the discussions we had in class already. For example, on number three, we already talked about what we expect the ratio of p total final divided by p total initial. We talked about what we expect that ratio to be when momentum is conserved. So they're asking you here what is the value, and I want you to explain your answer. Add that. Explain your answer. Number four, we're doing the exact same thing. What would the final KE total be divided by the initial KE total? What would that be if kinetic energy were conserved in the collision? And again, explain how do you know what the value should be? Explain your answer. Okay, on to number five. The first question we're going to say uh, answer was momentum conserved in your collisions? And you can give a single yes or no and explain because. And your explanation here should be based on what you see right here. That rightmost column tells you was momentum conserved? Because if you get a value like positive 95 or negative 63.2, those suggest momentum was not conserved. Only a special value here would suggest momentum was conserved. And it's up to you to remember and think through what was the value, the special value. So if you see that special value, then you know in trial three, you say, yes, I found one where there was conservation of momentum. Maybe it appears in the last two as well. And you would say, you know, on the whole, maybe momentum's not conserved. Maybe because only half the trials had conservation, right? You say, well, no, I'm going to say no, because only half the trials had conservation of momentum, or only half the trials had P total final divided by P total initial equal to that magic number. Then down here, you get more specific. You say, okay, momentum was only conserved in trials, you know, what was it? What did we say? Three, five, six in my example. So those are the only values where I had that special ratio. Then you do the same thing for the kinetic energy, but this question is asking only about trials one and two. For those, was kinetic energy conserved? Okay. Trials one and two, that means you only care about the magnetic bumpers. These first two trials, you'll recall, this was where we had magnetic bumpers. Three and four, that's where we had sticky Velcro. Five and six, that's where we had non-sticky Velcro. Okay, and for, you know, part A, they're saying, look at the ratio of KE total final divided by KE total initial. And there's a special value we expect to see when kinetic energy is conserved. Do you see that special value in the first two trials where we had magnetic bumpers? Part B, so, you know, yes or no. And always, with all of these, justify your answer. And you can reference, you know, that ratio. Does it equal the special magic value? And then look at trials three and four. The sticky Velcro. And then for part C, look at trials five and six. Right? And for both of those, I mean, for all three of these, you're talking about that ratio. Whoop. You're talking about that ratio of total final kinetic energy to total initial. This part we did in class, and it's really important. I am looking for justification. How do you know which one? How do you know which collision is which?
justify your answers. Justify answers. That's going to be part of what I grade for and part of what you get credit for.